Welcome to Kayla's World. I'm Kayla Canoe, aspiring author, and today I bring you an author tube whip tag. So let's just get started. Question number one. What is the working title of your book? The working title of my book is Intertwined. It's actually a series, so it's the Intertwined series, and the first book is called Intertwined. Question number two. Where did the idea for your book come from? This may seem weird, but a lot of my ideas come from my actual dreams. I have very, very vivid dreams. A lot of them are very crazy, very adventurous, very fantastical, magical, crazy. But, uh, <laughs> so yeah, the idea for my current novel came from one of my dreams. Yeah. Uh, number three. What genre is your writing in progress? So my book is definitely going to be new adult fantasy novel. Question number four. Choose the actors in your movie rendition. Oh, see, I'm not really one that knows actors or looks into actors or... Uh... Yeah, so I don't really have an answer for number four. Because to me, my characters, it's not really going to be about what they look like. They can kind of really look like any person. It's really a matter of how that actor acts. And if they can bring out the emotions that I want my characters to have. Question number five. A one sentence synopsis of your novel. I actually just had to write this because I did not have a synopsis that was only one sentence. So here it goes. When Tyler Elizabeth Skye, a mere human, Prince Malachi Darkblood, a powerful tiefling, and Harrison Darkborn, a loyal elf, are called to take part in the reckoning, they find themselves stumbling through journeys of self-discovery while fighting to stay alive. There's my one sentence, guys. Hope you liked it. <laughs> Question number six. Will your book be self-published or will it be represented by an agent? I've mentioned this in my videos before. I plan to self-publish. I can't say 100% sure because I haven't done it yet, but I'm probably gonna self-publish. There's a very, very small chance that I will be getting an agent. So, it'll be self-published. Number seven. How long did it take to write the first draft of your manuscript? Well, I have gone through three or four revisions of my first draft. So, I have not completely written my manuscript all the way through yet. I am currently trying to get it done right now. Um... I ended up rewriting from a different point of view, and I ended up rewriting my plot. So, my first draft, not done, but it will be pretty soon. Um, and I started, well, the idea came to me probably in like 2014, 15. I think I didn't really start writing until 2015 is when I really started writing it. Um, but like I said, I completely rewrote it, and the past couple years I've just been reworking it, trying to plot it, so. It's been a couple years in the making. Question number eight. What other books would you compare your story to? So, based off of my plot, I would probably compare maybe little baby, baby, small pieces of it to The Hunger Games. And that's only because... The plot of my first novel is a survival type game, except it's not a one person takes all kind of thing. It's more of people want to win because of the reward that they get from winning and they mercilessly kill each other because they can, not because they have to, but because they're evil, magical people and they'll do anything to win. Um, there's also a lot of magic. I can't really think of a book 
magic wise that would resemble mine. I kind of created my own unique magical system. Uh, it may have hints of like Avatar the Airbender in the way of my elementals. They may be similar to that type of use of elemental magic. Um, and some of them may have like superhero like powers like reading minds or seeing people's auras or moving things with their minds. So there's a lot of variety magic wise so I can't really compare it to any particular novel. All right, question number nine. Who or what inspired you to write your book? Well, so I have a lot of support from my current partner. He is wonderful. He supports my writing dreams and my desire to be an author and to write full time. Um, but I kind of inspired myself at a very young age, which I probably also mentioned in one of my other videos when I was young. When they ask you, what do you want to do when you grow up? I said I wanted to write a book. And so for years, it's just kind of been lingering where I'm like, I want to write a book. I want to write a book. I want to write a book. <laughs> so I'm writing said book. Um, yeah. Number 10. What else about the book would pique your audience's attention? Well, I will say that my fantasy novel that is also a survival type game also has some romance. Some heavy romance and unique perspective and take on different beings like tieflings and elves and dwarves and humans and a couple of uh, other things thrown in there. And it has its own unique perspective on magic. It's got dark magic and light magic, which is controlled by your emotions. As in, when you feel a certain emotion, it causes a magical reaction that you may or may not want to have happen. But it's very powerful. So, there's that. Um, but yeah. I subscribe to my channel if you like the videos that I'm putting out. I put out videos every Tuesday. Um, click that little bell at the bottom there if you want to be alerted every time I post a new video. I actually just set up a Patreon account, so if there are any topics or ideas or suggestions, content that you would like to see me talk about, if you want to know more about my current writing, if you want more writing tips, if you would like to see more book reviews or book hauls, um, you can check out my Patreon page. I know one of my rewards is being able to hit me up on my Discord and send me suggestions. So. I will leave the links for those below. Um, and for this tag, I wasn't actually tagged by anyone. Well, I guess I was sort of tagged by Jessie Lee. I will, um, I'll put her information down below as well. She basically said anybody that didn't get tagged but wants to do the tag should do the tag. So I did the tag. So I'll put her below and then I'll also put down the information for a... Uh... Sorry, that was Natalia Lee. Natalia Lee is the one who put out that video and then um, Jesse is the one who created it. Jesse Elliott is the one who created the, the author tube whip tag. So I will link both of their information below along with my own. You can follow me on social media. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week.